I'm a, let's talk about belief, okay? Because the whole thing with belief is like, you see, I believe everything, everything. Because if I see it, I can believe it. I see it, you know what I'm saying? I see myself, I believe <laughs> my body is here. I believe the system is here. I believe everything that's going on. But do you believe in it? You know what I'm saying? You could believe it, but do you believe in it? It's like people say, I believe in me because you believe in you. It's not, I, I believe me. No, I believe in me. I believe everything outside of me. People say, do you believe in Santa Claus? I don't believe in Santa Claus, right? But I believe Santa Claus? But do you believe Santa Claus? What did Santa Claus tell you? I didn't, I didn't hear anything from Santa Claus. So why do I need to believe Santa Claus? You know what I'm saying? I don't believe in Santa Claus. I don't believe Santa Claus. He didn't tell me nothing. But I believe there's an energy or a character, a thought form, an idea of Santa Claus. Because, I mean, it's basically been passed down. Somebody thought of it, which is basically me because I created all this shit anyway. You know what I'm saying? Just like Jesus Christ, just like Lucifer, Satan, the devil. I believe in it. Right? Well, I don't believe in it. I mean, I believe it. I believe the energy. You know what I'm saying? I believe in me. But all these things are in me. So I believe in me. You get what I'm saying? But I believe that those energies are there. And they're there. And it's meant for you to look at it one way when it really means something else. As I said in my previous video, just like Lucifer. Lucifer is Jesus. You know what I'm saying? And Satan means adversary. But Lucifer, the, the you know, the, 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 uh, the light bearer. You know what I'm saying? And then you have Jesus. Jesus, they have you believing in him in, him in a certain way. But he is really the same thing as Lucifer. You get what I'm saying? Except they'll use the thought form that they're having you believe in. And they'll utilize it a different way to disempower you and empower themselves. You get what I'm saying? And that's the same way that it's going on with Santa Claus. Santa Claus, the whole the whole thing with Santa Claus, the whole thing with all these holidays, the Easter Bunny and all that stuff. They, they'll have you believe in it a certain way. You could believe it, but not believe in it. Okay? And they'll have you believe it a certain way, but it's really intentionally put there a different way. Okay? So... This is why I mentioned this about my, in my previous video, you know what I'm saying? Um, when they have you look at these heroes, you know, Santa Claus, I mean, uh, uh, Batman, the Joker, you know what I'm saying? It, it's all set up a certain way, but don't take it literal. You could redefine the meaning of anything that you see. Any one of these characters, the villains, the superheroes, you can redefine the meaning of it and use the energy the way everybody perceives it and use it to your advantage. Okay, it doesn't have to be done literally. You know what I'm saying? Because the way I see Batman, Batman is big brother that we all fucking talk about the government. You know what I mean? Spying on us and all that. It's basically it's Batman. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's big brother, bat, bat brain. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, it, it gets you to, to to start to think about everything that's going on with technology, or you know what I'm saying? Just uh, the whole uh, virus, the whole pandemic thing that's going on. You know what I'm saying? How uh, you know the the money that's that's being handed out and and how they monitor the way you use the money how you know the economy crashing and all that i'm seeing a lot of youtubers also with big big fucking channels um you know putting thought viruses and ideas into people you get what i'm saying about how 2021 is going to look uh constantly in that victim mode you know what i'm saying when in actuality there's certain things that just happen to fall on my lap see a lot of people are basically they're, they're, they're truth seeking, looking too much outside of themselves and basically wanting to blame a finger on something. You know what I'm saying? Blame a finger. And this is the thing. It's And this is why I want to tie this into the whole Batman thing I was talking about earlier when they unmask, uh, uh, you know, Batman. Let's say when, when he got when he turned himself into Scarecrow, all in the interest of saving Robin and the commissioners, because those are, see, he needs those people there. They, they, they're like, they're, they're more of a representation of the battery. You know what I'm saying? You protect your assets if you were Batman. You know what I'm saying? So um, these people are on his side. They work for him. He needs those people. You know what I'm saying? Um, now, when you have, uh, uh, this is what I was going to get to also, if I blink out. Um, when you have, uh, these, these characters, you redefine the meaning of them, but you also, uh, you utilize this to your advantage. Um, I was going to say something and I forgot, man. But anyway, it don't matter. It'll come to me. Um, 
you know, uh, the, everything's going to come down to belief, but they want you to put your faith into something. So now the, your faith is going to be directed somewhere. See, when you, oh, here's where I was going to get to. When you lose faith, for example, in the government, because people look up to the government, right? So when you look up to the government and now the government is looking shady because you're like, oh, some, something's not right. And now they're going to redirect your, because people, the last thing they want is for you to put that faith into yourself. So they need to make sure that that is still directed, like you're directing it to, you know, for it to be, to be favorable for them. You know what I'm saying? So there's certain things that just happen to fall on my lap. And if it falls on your lap, it's because you know the frequency and vibration you're in and it, you'll know how to decode shit as it comes. You know what I'm saying? And it's it's it was presented to you for a reason. It doesn't necessarily mean that it has to mean anything for anybody else. You know what I'm saying? But if you share your point of view on it, it can resonate with people that are actually in the same frequency and vibration that you're on, and it would actually connect certain dots for them. See, this whole social distancing thing and all that, I want you to look at this word, social dist stance so when you take a stance right you stand up for yourself you take a stance when you do and this is for the for the collective that's why it's called social social this stance so they're trying to this stance you okay now when you stand together you're actually a lot stronger you know what i'm saying but aside from that the distancing part is basically a disconnect of energy between you and another individual your vibe attracts your tribe and now that it's 2020 people are starting to actually um see clearer things are starting to make more sense you see when i talk to certain people i can't help it doesn't matter who it is it, it could be somebody that i look at that that doesn't seem conscious to me or not it could be an npc it doesn't matter but the whole thing is that i always get something out of the situation and i'm noticing this because i don't feel drained out i don't feel less energy i always feel more energy and it's not because i drained their energy it was just an exchange of energy there was a reciprocity that naturally happens you're not thinking about oh let me give this person energy and this person's giving me something or let me it's not about that but you see when you are just in flow and you're in harmony you could talk to anybody and you don't need to drain them you'll actually empower them and they'll empower you back because they're paying attention to you you know what i'm saying and it and it, and and you could tell when somebody's not into what you're saying, you notice that they start yawning and whatnot. There's also symbol symbolism to that. See, there's energies that kind of shut and block people and they'll start yawning. And that's that's a sign that there's something going on. You know what I'm saying? That's trying to disconnect that person from you or that person is just completely asleep and not and you're, you're you're putting them to sleep. And you, you may be you may be drawing too much from them. You know what I'm saying? And they, and they can't, they can't, it's very hard because a focus is, is a muscle and they can't keep that focus on what you're saying because it's not digesting well with them. It's kind of like when you eat a certain, let's say if you eat cheeseburger with fries, you don't notice that when you eat that, you start yawning, it's hard for the body to process. So certain things are very hard for certain people to process when you're telling them. So if they start yawning, that means that that's too much for them to absorb. So you have to know that. And I can see that when I'm talking to certain people and it's like I'm forcing the information on them. Sometimes we just get into a conversation, but I notice that when it gets to that point, I just kind of shut it off. You know what I'm saying? I just shut it off, change the topic, go to something else. Only thing is I can't just have regular mundane conversations with people because then I get like that. You get what I'm saying? I'm not up for small talk on bullshit and start to talk about dumb shit. I could have a conversation with people about, let's say, the UFC and whatnot occasionally from time to time because I am into that. You get what I'm saying? But anything else that I'm not into, I'm just being energy drained or I'm falling asleep because it's really not something I am into. You know what I'm saying? It's just basically knowing how to just read people and and, and not really force yourself on people or anything like that. Um, I got red wine here. And yeah, I drink red wine. You know what I'm saying? For anybody who has a problem with that, too bad. And cheers. This is to you. Um, so... You know, and, and 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 that's how it is. You know what I'm saying? So basically, now the, the the distancing part is basically to disconnect you from basically connecting dots. Because every time I talk to somebody, when I say I get something out of them, it's not energy. It's basically a realization. There's certain people I talk to, and I have a realization as I'm talking to them. It's not like they're teaching me anything, or I'm teaching them something. See, this is the way it should always be. You're not supposed to be teaching anybody anything. They're supposed to show you something, and it is up to you to be able to see what they're actually showing you. And you can see that by actually 
reading between the lines. I can't help but to sometimes I look at trees, I look at the clouds, and I see certain images, certain faces, you know what I'm saying? But it's not to say that everybody should be seeing the same thing. It is meant for me to see that, you know what I'm saying? But I'm seeing that because it's kind of like reading between the lines. That's basically knowing if your third eye is active or not. And when you can start to see things like that, then you start to exercise that more and you'll be able to see more and more between the lines. That's going to trickle down to basically being able to see between the lines of what people are actually saying, where they're coming from, or basically knowing the intent that they have behind what they're saying. See, the intent that people have, they expose themselves, they show themselves to you, but you have to be able to read that and decode that for yourself. And what does it mean to you? Because they're doing it to you. Not to anybody else. So because they're doing it to you, don't put yourself in a victim mode because it doesn't necessarily mean that it has to be like that for anybody else. Or if they did the exact same thing to you, to somebody else, doesn't mean that everybody's going to be taking it the same way you took it because nobody thinks the same way you do. You know what I'm saying? So you have to realize that it's it's basically just being everything natural, neutral. Take out the vowels, same shit. You know what I'm saying? But being neutral is the natural way to be. You know what I'm saying? And by the way, before I blank out on this, I spoke about Cinemex on my last video. And Cinemex, by the way, is basically considered natural flavoring. That's the natural flavoring. When you ever see packages and they say organic, and then the ingredients say natural flavoring, natural flavoring, you're a natural being. You're eating a natural... <laughs> Uh, 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 aborted baby fetuses Your uh, certain um, uh, 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 what, what do you call it Blood from human blood You know what I'm saying Pieces of like organs like kidneys and whatnot, And it's all in the interest of having you Have better flavoring And that's the addictive part It's so funny how cannibalism You start to look at cannibalism But you are eating aborted baby fetuses And all because And that's the addictive part That's what makes it addictive so you basically your body is like a vampire. You know what I'm saying? And um, watch my last video on like you know not getting lost into those desires and whatnot because when you do, you literally are not home. You're letting the body take over, and then who is really responsible for pain? That what we call karma. If you believe in karma, then karma will happen. You know what I'm saying? But it's it's like you gotta really really pay attention to. The, the you know not getting into too much of a religious mindset see what goes around comes around you know what i'm saying but when you're aware you manipulate energies energies are not meant to use you you are supposed to use energies you know what i'm saying so that's why when we look at the planets the stars and you know people who do astrology and whatnot you use these things to your advantage as tools these are you these are things that you they disconnect you from that type of information because these are things that can actually help you you know what I'm saying? So they have you look at calendars and repeat certain cycles a certain way. But, you know, that's besides the topic, man. Just know how to utilize energies. You utilize people to your advantage as well without having to fuck anybody over. You know what I'm saying? It's not to use people because you hear the word, I'm going to use people. I manipulate. And you hear that and it's like it sounds like, oh, I'm doing things for self-servient reasons. No, you use it so that you can use it for yourself. And then you do what you got to do. You see... I'm taking my part here and just speaking on camera. I put myself on camera. I can put my face on camera. I'm not really fearful of ever showing who the fuck I am. You know what I'm saying? But everybody exposes themselves. I expose myself when I'm on camera. Everybody exposes themselves. And, you know, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? But know that everything you see outside of you is you pushed out. Okay? And you decide. Okay? See, people say only God can judge me. Right? You decide how you feel toward that situation. That's If you decide how you feel toward a situation, you're judging yourself because you are God. And you are outside of space and time. You know what I'm saying? But you have to also realize that you can play this game as if you were playing a video game. Like if I'm playing a Batman game, right? See, Batman has different missions, different things to do, right? Who is deciding when he's about to embark on a mission or do something? Me. I'm the one that's doing it, playing the video game as Batman. You know what I'm saying? Or they, I, I, at one point, I played the video game as the Joker in one of the scenes. You know what I'm saying? Because basically the Joker and Batman are the same. Joker is inside Batman's head when Joker died. You know what I'm saying? So they are one and the same. They are back, basically, they're, they're together. They're still together and more after Joker died. You know what I'm saying? And I mean, there's a lot of symbology in everything that you see. Um, I'm going to make another video on, um, you know, not getting steered mentally into uh, 
because again, you have to, the, the, the most important thing here is you should, uh, and I don't say, when I say I have to, you have to, you don't have to do anything, you should, you know what I'm saying? Some, you know, this whole language thing, um, I'm going to get into uh, why they, they, they want to have you always looking up to somebody, you know what I'm saying? When you look at a dollar bill, it says in God we trust, right? You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, you trust in the government. I, I know that there's certain people that I've spoken to. Um, you know, me working in the supplement industry and I suggest something to them. The first thing to tell me, I got to ask my doctor. So they trust nobody but their doctor. Doctors become God to them. Some people trust the government. The government is God to them. You know what I'm saying? Just like in the in, in, in Gotham City, the people look up to Batman, to Batman to save them from 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 harm. You know what I'm saying? So and, and watch these words, words that all sound the same are basically all in the same frequency and vibration. You could hear the word light, bite, kite, fight. Uh, dyke, I mean, they're all in, they have different meanings because that's what you're programmed and in, indoctrinated into using these words for an intent, a specific purpose, but they're all in the same frequency and vibration. They all sound the same. That's why I said you use this, the, your, 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 the voice, the word, right? I mean, you create with the word or whatnot, but it's basically, it's, it's all the intent that you have in your mind because words can be empowering and disempowering. And if you don't know how to use the words, then it's basically... Um, it, it's all gonna you have to you have to know what you're gonna say first you know what I'm saying so it's gonna start from the mind first so take that shortcut rather than using this just use the intent in your mind draw the picture paint the picture rather than having to put so much language into what it is that you're trying to create you know what I'm saying just have the picture the image the movie playing in your in your head without words you know what I'm saying know the feeling the feeling is the language you know what I'm saying the feeling and the and and the, the 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 brightness, the environment, the energy that's in the air when you when you're in that imagination, that's the language. Because there's, see, the people only communicate; they only depend on communicating through language. But in actuality, you could see body language, facial expressions. All that is a form of communication. The way you feel when you wake up in the morning before you go to sleep, the way you feel around certain people, all that is communication, is information, not just language. So leave the language out of it. That's basically what's fucking people up. So, uh, you know, those are vibrations. You use the vocal cords for that. That's the vibration. You could change frequency from a high pitch to a lower pitch, uh, uh, however you want. But you're using it to speak. And that's what's basically, in my opinion, fucking a lot of people up. You know what I'm saying? So, use the imagination and get to just the feeling part and drawing the mental picture in there and the more you do that the better you become at it you know what i'm saying just how you feel don't put too much meaning behind the words because the words look at the word i mean i'm gonna get into that in the next video but like i said if, if it sounds the same duck luck fuck they all have different meanings one is actually a vulgar bad word and the other ones means good luck you know what i'm saying but they're in the same frequency and vibration you know what I'm saying? But what state of being and mental state are you in when you're saying certain words? Because you could be happy as hell. You know what I'm saying? You'd be like, <laughs> man, fuck you. Or you could be like, yo, fuck you. You know what I'm saying? Same words. You said it with a different energy. a different, And they mean the same thing, though. But you might have been very happy when you said that vulgar word. So what the fuck is the difference? What does it mean? It only means is the feeling behind it. You know what I'm saying? Um... So, uh, what was what was I gonna say? So, yeah, you see, sometimes it's like a, a, a what's up, boy? Is this good? Yeah, you can have it. I can have it. Yeah. Uh, look, <laughs> the green. <laughs> Sorry, you good? Uh, uh, the, uh, the green. Let me, let me. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna finish can the video. Can, can I talk? Yes, yeah, sure, guys. Look at this. <laughs> Peanut. Nice. Alright, cool. So, um, yeah, I'm going to make the next video. Um, we'll talk soon. It's going to be basically, uh, the next video I'm going to get into how certain things are going to be presented to you and how not to get steered in that direction, which is pretty important. So, um, that's it. We'll talk soon.